welcome everybody to some Saturday musings. Look at that amazing sun or sunrise. Ah, this place is just a a place of beauty. All right, so while I uh, let's see, four minutes, three minutes, that and that. Oh, p.m. a.m. All right, so have an alarm for 30 minutes from now. Uh, got some pretty good progress on the old temple here. I've got some lighting options, which I think this might be the winner. Um, that's cool looking, but it doesn't give off as much light, apparently, as these things, glowstones. So, and I have quite a few. Whenever I see them in the nether, I harvest them with my silk touch pick, or my silk touch axe, so I get the whole thing, not just glowstone dust. And you can also trade for glowstone, glowstone dust with, uh the librarians I believe they're basically like the wizards of this game so and we are wizards and witches can be wizards too I hate the term witch because it, it just implies like negative connotations of a woman that can do magic like not that any of it's real anyway but that's why I find it funny like uh, the whole JK Rowling thing like so many people hate her because of her stance on transgender people um, and whatever you believe about it, like, it's, again, it's one of those games of telephone in another part of the world where they're just starting to find out. I believe transgenderism started, or at least, like, the major um, surgeries for it started right here in Colorado in Trinidad. Uh, I used to play football against the Trinidad football team, and we'd make jokes, like, oh, they're a bunch of sex changers or whatever. But, like, deep down, I don't think any of us really cared about people that were transitioning. It was just... A football rivalry like not even a rivalry it's just football competition there you go so same with the South Park episode where they use the other F word not the the big F bomb but the other one that means homosexual or a cigarette in British um, the kids didn't realize it meant homosexuals and they had no qualms or problems with homosexuals they're just like no these people on motorcycles are acting like blah and they're just dropping a a curse word because they're not happy with the behavior of these motorcyclists and it was true like I mean it was just a bunch of these like middle-aged guys like uh, what is that movie with Tim Allen where he gets a motorcycle and he just starts cruising around in fact let's go ahead and do this and I don't know if we need to light up every single column because as you can see it might be every other light column so that that gives off like no light I mean it, a little light but almost none so this would be cool for decorations but at the same time not for lighting up the area so we could go ahead and and I'm gathering a ton of blocks let's see how many spaces is this one two three okay so three high and then every other one I might not need the middle row but I kinda like it it's like a column of light illuminating the room however <coughs> if I'm not careful it's going to take up like the whole place so basically all we really need is maybe the bottom row and the top row and then every other column so like see maybe leave skip this one and put it here and yes there's even this underground light because I have a tunnel that's going to be coming actually wait that is the if I'm not mistaken yeah, you can't see it really well there you go that's the railway the railway goes from there you barely see it over there, the little stair steps of slabs, and it comes all the way into here, and then that's where it comes up, because I want to have the railway pop right up in here, and then have a station here, but that torch right there is actually illuminating these slabs from underneath, which is interesting, and I think that might have been different if I had used solid blocks, because I feel like there's some way that like light travels through slabs more so than blocks. Although, this is pretty cool, and I think, although I, it's kind of a little tacky having the fire go into the bottom of the nether rack, I mean, and actually something else I want to try is columns of lava. Let's actually do that before we get all gung-ho with these. I mean, these, these glowstones might be reserved for wherever we make our holy uh, altars for... The Fallen. Basically like a cemetery or a memorial for those that have died before me. 
Oh, the people in my life. Not every single person that's died. That's a lot. But I've had quite a few people close to me die, and I don't know, maybe it's just because I tend to think about people a little more than what's normal, but more of an empath mentality. And actually, during the daytime, it's pretty cool. You can see how, like, the light does penetrate, like, about this deep in, like, up to here, just a little bit. You can tell that this, this line of blocks is still altered. It's not like this line of blocks. This one has a little bit of light on it. This one is fully light of a, yeah. Also, I made this, I don't know if I did this on camera, but we made this little bit of a pool. <laughs> still find that hilarious. Nature is hilarious. But this way, if you fall, I was thinking about also making a fence or something, but if you were to fall down here, it would not be fatal. I'm leaving this open for reasons. And there you go. Although, that's kind of dangerous. Oops. All right. Actually, let's see. Let's go exploring. There we go. <laughs> Make it nice and easy to get back up. Okay. Now, let's go see what this cave has in store for us. So, and I don't know, as far as like the actual musings or the trying to fix global problems, it all stems back to the war on drugs and legalization of cannabis. And that sounds silly, that sounds hokey. Like, oh, it's just some stoner that just wants weed to be legal. No, it's some person that has seen the, da the damage and dangers of alcohol and while yes alcohol is perfectly harmless for people who are just celebrating have a good time well not perfectly harmless there's still some some danger in fact let's get the water buckets because I was thinking about filling this whole area with water anyway just, just kinda do have like a little river going into the cave but that's definitely a safer option and it's easier than towering with dirt blocks which I would have to harvest the dirt blocks and then use them up for that. Whereas I just have a couple buckets of water. Let's go ahead and put this stuff all... I don't need to keep track of how much of that I'm collecting. But anyways, alcohol is at the basis of problems for people that don't have things set just right. Like, if they're struggling with finances, pressures, like, you know, like making ends meet... All of that alcohol just magnifies your problems. It just makes them worse. And guess what? It also costs a lot of money. So what you end up with is... Should we just go ahead and... If we do it there, then we should be able to get that. Wait, does that not work? But anyways, it's not normally, like, it hits everybody different, I guess is a better way to put that. And so if you're strumming along, and really that's true with everything. That's why, like, I, I honestly believe Hunter Biden has no problems with his crack use. However, why are all these other people? Is it because they're black? No, I'm just kidding. Like, and that's, and that's not a great joke, but, like, the original war on drugs was Nixon injecting the projects with crack cocaine. Like, he knew there was this highly addictive drug, and it just spread like wildfire because it was basically happiness in a bag. And the gorillas even have some lyrics about that. Like, I got sunshine in a bag, and, like, just talking about how using substances and all that, when really the real problem are the ones at the top that are just being greedy and just wanting to live their lives all lavishly and not worry about the plight of the common person because it doesn't affect them so it must not be a big problem when if you don't have a lot of money or if you don't have stable parents see that's the other thing too it's not that all these black neighborhoods and hippies too don't get me wrong hippies were targeted by Nixon because they were pro, um, anti-war 
they did not like killing people because they would sit and smoke weed and like meditate and eat mushrooms maybe even lsd and like i think it's happy bicycle day too um which was the invention of lsd which that's a controversial one are the united states government i'm pretty sure well actually i don't know anything about it i was just reading this thing about explaining what bicycle day was and you can go ahead and google it unless you're in china which i'm actually talking to some people now in chinese i don't speak chinese google speaks chinese <laughs> and so um anyways um but I want to say the story was like LSD was created by the government because they were trying to do mind-expanding drugs or mind-altering drugs to make a more super soldier. That's the whole premise for the movie Men Who Stare at Goats, which they were a bunch of guys that were taking LSD for the military, and supposedly they could like read minds, tell what was in a box, and they thought they were really onto something, like some kind of magical like thing, when in reality they were just a bunch of soldiers doing drugs for the military. like. <laughs> that's all it ever amounted to so um so it's kind of like a funny movie but not so funny if you get caught with that kind of stuff because it is scheduled as a certain whatever blah 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 that will get you in trouble also i need to make a water source block a little bit closer than uh, see now i gotta sweep that up okay oh and it's getting dark too I don't even know. But, let's go ahead and do this. All you need is three blocks cut out, just like so, where you can have one source here, one water source here, and that fills in the water source block in between it. Now, that doesn't happen with lava, but it does happen with water. And it's very frustrating trying to make things out of lava because you have to get so many buckets from the nether, or usually that's where I go. You can find them deep within the Minecraft Earth. See, and I'm just making all these water source blocks, and eventually you'll be able to refill your water buckets from these things too, but for now... There we go. The whole point of that is, is so I can get safely down there, and then I can also come back up. So, and that's just it. And just like prohibition of alcohol led to a bunch of problems, because, I mean, well, for the people that didn't have a lot of money. Now, the people that did have money, they could go to speakeasies or go and find where it was being obtained still, regardless of its legality. Oh, man, that is such a far drop. But look at all these. Potential riches. Okay, I just see some iron there, a little bit of coal. The water is going to flow all the way down. Well, I don't see a lot. Okay. Ugh, I don't like it. It's so dangerous. I mean, I would like it if it was, like, pooling down there at the bottom. So you can see, even see the squares populate all the way down. There we go, that's a little more safer. Okay, here we go! We Okay, now I want to stay on this level. But I gotta be careful, because that is definitely death if I were to fall down there. so dangerous going into caves. <laughs> I mean, it's exciting because there's usually a bunch of cool stuff in these things. Usually. This one's already looking pretty, uh, pretty bare. We've got that one iron. So, anyways, all it's going to take, and for pretty much world peace, is that weed is legalized. I mean, 
Thailand legalized it. So that's why it's talking to these people from China. It's not that big of a stretch. Like they're starting to find out just how harmless weed really is and how it was just a power move to keep poor people poor and, you know, just keep people oppressed when it's like, oh, wait, if you use this substance, I mean, it depends too, because there's sativa and there's indica. And so sativa is the more risky one that can be a little more dangerous, a little more powerful, usually make people do the more dumb things. Whereas indica is more of like a meditative agent. Like it just makes you peaceful, make you deep in thought. And that's also why there was so much confusion around it in the war on drugs is because like sometimes people would have a great time and like a great experience with it and do a lot of great things and be very insightful. Other times they would just do stupid things and be silly and run around and maybe get in trouble. And that's because they didn't realize that sativa versus indica. So the two main divisions, and even within that, within those two camps, there are many different combinations of the, the cannabinoids and the, I forget how they actually call it, but like there's different chemical compounds within each of these two main distinctions of plants. So it's just lazy to be like, oh yeah, weed makes you lazy, weed makes you stupid. No, actually it makes you a lot smarter and more insightful depending on how you use it. Now, by itself, just like Adderall too. I mean, Adderall allows you to focus, but do you actually retain the information or does it... My ar argument is, with that stuff, it more feels like you're retaining it. And it feels like you're smart because it's it's signaling the chemicals in your brain, the aha moments. Like, oh, I get it now. I'm so smart. I'm so this and that. But then once you're done, you're like, wait a minute. It was just my brain releasing that chemical, thinking that I was learning a bunch of stuff when re in reality, I just played a bunch of video games and had some discussions with people and basically was tweaking out. And that's what methamphetamine does too. Now, I wouldn't know about that one straight although I'm sure I've accidentally done it a time or two, but, um, anyways, let's see, wait, where did I start going? I feel like this is going to pop back out, oh, okay, yeah, there's a lot of holes that go out into the surrounding area, which is kind of cool, and it's, if this place is filled with light, also, I notice we're getting eerily close, too, okay, I'm going to go up over Oh, I love it. You can see that from far away. Especially once it gets all lit up. That's going to be really cool. And it looks kind of like weird on the back side. Oh, okay. Then over here is our nether portal, which, oh, I want to go back and play the Warcraft and the Starcraft games. I'm going to do it. I got to pay my ticket for this month. That was like my little bit of disposable gaming income. 75 bucks just for running a red light. Now, I do like it, because, and here's why. Because so many people in Fort Collins just run a red light and they'll, they'll go through a yellow light because they got to squeeze in there <clears throat> and that could lead to accidents. I actually know somebody that got into a car crash because, now I'm, I'm trying to think, she might have been one of the ones trying to squeeze in. It might have been her fault, but either way, a car crash happened because people were trying to fit into before the light changed they didn't really have the time, so. Uh -oh. This is dangerous, so what we're going to do... Do I just water down? <laughs> but I also wanted to make an infinite water source here, in case, in fact, where it should be? It should be closer to... We'll make a little station over here. In case we need some more water. Okay. And the creators of South Park knew this long ago. They were total stoners. Like, they were just sitting around coming up with these great ideas. They were just smoking all sorts of weed and, like, having fun. And basically college students, I want to say, from Boulder. Um, but, yeah. And that's just it. Now the world is waking up. The world is realizing it. And, I, and the reason I can tell is graffiti. Now, I've been traveling a lot lately. I've been around the world twice now. Like, literally flown around the world. <laughs> like, took the other way back. Um, and I can tell you, people, young people all over, they're rising up and they're starting to realize, hey, wait a minute. A lot of this stuff is BS. Like, it's just there so the rich can stay rich and the poor stay poor. And that's only it. Like, yes, you can still live a good life if you work hard if you stay away from alcohol. And that alcohol right there is one of the dangerous things. Oh, jeez. As I speak about danger. 
can see some lava down there, so let's actually stick away from there. I think this, if we go down to that layer, might be a good time. It's already daytime again. Look at all this. All these stalactites. The stalactites are the ones that hold tight to the ceiling. And stalagmites might have already fallen. That's just how I remember it. Stalactite is tight to the ceiling. Stalagmite might have already fallen, which it has fallen. Like that's the whole point. And then what happens is cave water with minerals is dripping, and like it's. But the the, the deposits are solidifying both on the ground to form the stalagmite that reaches up, and then they're also forming as they're pouring down from the stalactites, and then they meet in the middle and they form little columns. Or like right there, how it's not quite connected. Oh, this is dangerous. There's just like giant holes. Let's go ahead and fix that. I don't know if it's worth it to fill this completely in, but like if you're just running around here, that's that's a bad time. And I really do like the cobblestone, especially in this city texture pack. It looks like certain paved sidewalk like stones there we go can we fix it yes we can Bob the Builder all right so and so there's not really a lot of effort that needs to happen and the graffiti around places like I saw a graffiti with mushroom and weed in Malaysia which I believe weed is still illegal there but Thailand just right across the way from them it is legal and so all it's going to take is Thailand to find out, oh wait, this isn't really that bad at all. And people are going to continue to enjoy it and have fun and like maybe start replacing alcohol. And see, that's the thing, like alcohol is never going to go like completely away or maybe not never, but at least not in the near future. Like it is still one of the more accepted ways to recreate and party and have fun and just relax. Like, you know, everybody's out there working hard. And that's one of the biggest fallacies is like <clears throat> you cannot not work hard. Because it's ingrained in our bodies. Like, we feel good after a hard day's work. Like, we feel accomplished. We get endorphins that are released. It's like, oh, I did all these things. Even just cleaning up your house and organizing things. Like, you know, there's an endorphin rush that's just like re a reward chemical that your brain releases. It's like, you did some work. Good job. Or, you know, or the world is better because of something that you just did. Now, it might not be huge, but it doesn't have to be. The body will reward you for doing work now there's also different kinds of work and that's where we get into like lawyers and uh, corrections law enforcement all these different things that yes they are doing a good job per se but it all comes back to the war on drugs like all of these people are now demonized because they're trying to enforce and support a system that is systematically intended to keep poor people poor and rich people rich or actually it wasn't like initially designed to do that I don't think anyway like I mean that's more like getting into the realm of conspiracy theorists about how like I mean which isn't too far off but what the reality is often it's an unintended consequence like well I want to keep my money I want to make more money this is capitalism like I need to make the most money and then I still need to pay off all my workers and pay their benefits and pay the insurance companies and pay this and pay that and pay this and there are a lot of evils that have been allowed to introduce like insurance like you need to have it but at the same time like it's such a racket that people are making so much money off of it and not paying it back out to and they don't realize that wait a minute this money should be going to the workers or to better working conditions or you know maybe or a number of other things but instead it's just going to the what if I feel like that's also death this is kinda getting sketchy <laughs> I mean we should continue to make water areas and basically just make it childproof is another way to look at it what is that? Is that like a torch? looking at that little white glitch right there but anyways Copper's not all that great. It's fun to like just throw a bunch of it, just continually be cooking things, but yeah. Anyways, I digress. And a lot of this all started out because I'm teaching some of these people computer programming in Chinese. Like, or starting to. 
So I went back and I added Chinese subtitles to my Python playlist. And the more that we get the word out and communicate with these people in China and Russia, the more we will have peace. Because as the older people are phasing out and we're realizing that a lot of this is just because of money, like blood for profits, like no blood for oil used to be the thing. And yes, it was very widely known that we were taking a lot of oil from Iraq and we had very cheap oil prices for the years following, like during the Iraq war. Because why? Because we stole it. Like, you know, like, Jesus. We got criminals at the top, like, I mean, and I love my country, I support my country, but I also support accountability and, and when to admit that we were wrong. And basically, and we still don't even know if Osama bin Laden was, like, in on it with the CIA, and, like, we know the CIA trained him to fight the Russians in Afghanistan, so we know that we're part of the reason that he was such a militant mind. But at the same time, it's like, okay, well now, how do I support my country? America up and left. Like, there's any number of reasons. So. Ugh, yeah, it's just, it's a vicious cycle, but I'm still saying that if weed was legalized worldwide, it would slowly come to an end. Because more and more people would choose peace over war, no matter what. Like, and the only reason we have wars now is for greed, greed of lines, boundaries, or power struggles, or worries that America's going to come in and just take over, and guess what? We kind of actually already did. Um, not intentionally, but the world communicates mostly through English, and, that, and I, it doesn't sit right with me. Like, I want to start learning Chinese, I want to start learning Arabic, and, you know, meet them halfway. Like, show some respect, be like, yeah. But it's tough. It's tough for the average person to just up and learn another language, and I learned Spanish. Like, you know, so... It's not like a lack of trying, like I, I want to try to be able to communicate with a lot of the more relevant people here, which most people in Central and South America, with the exception of Brazil, <laughs> speak Spanish. Now Brazil speaks Portuguese, and that's a whole nother other situation. It's like, okay, now I gotta learn Portuguese, and I tried to start, like I learned like five or six words in Portuguese. Um, and yeah, and a lot of that is going to become a non-issue as Google Translate becomes more popular, more common. We're going to have people being like, blah, 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 and then look at a device and be like, oh, that's what you meant. And then they'll speak right back and they'll say, no, but there's this, this, and this, and people will be able to have a conversation. <laughs> and it might be blocky, but, you know, like, much better than it's been. I mean, as it has been, people just blurt out a bunch of stuff in their native language, look confused at each other, start to get angry because they can't be understood, and they think, you know, it's hard not to think that that's a respect thing. Like, how do you not understand what I'm saying? I've been able to say this to the people that I grew up with, that I live with, and I've been able to communicate and get things done, but now it's, it's um, debilitating. It, not to the point of, like, a disability thing, of course, but, like, it, it's that feeling of powerless. Like, when you lose the ability to communicate with the people that you're trying to talk to, it's... Well, yeah, it's a lot of things. It's offensive. It's it's demeaning. It's belittling. It's you feel like a child, like no longer powerful in any way, like because you can't communicate. Like, whoops. Here we go. And I think we're gonna need to make a soft landing. There we go. And that just increases our chances of not dying. I've still died falling in caves a few times. Oh. Eventually that might make some... I don't know. Yep, okay, you can see the, the blocks starting to turn from lava to cobblestone as it fills in. I guess if they don't have the solid bottom. I don't know. The mechanics on water seems to change, too. Like, just when I get comfortable with it, I feel like there's there's been updates that come out. It's like, just kidding. Nope, now it acts differently. So, either way, yeah. And I see some iron. But at least now, we won't fall to our death right in that hole. So, and happy 420, everybody. It is April 20th, I believe. Yes. Oh, and that's right at 30 minutes. We're coming up on 30 minutes. I just checked to see if there's a timestamp. But on April 20th, which 
that some people argue I believe is Hitler's birthday is also the holiday to celebrate cannabis now or marijuana or weed or reefer or whatever you want to call it when I was a kid I heard all these different words and I thought it was just like like 50 different types of drugs and so is this Chinese person I'm talking to they don't really understand what weed is and all it is it's a plant that will you can become under the influence if you use too much of it but unlike alcohol it's much easier to function like you don't lose your faculties you don't slur your words you don't like stumble and fall like if anything you're just a little more and that's especially if it's people that are just starting to use it now people that are used to the effects it's or think about it this way if you put a cat a cat's paws on tape or like pieces of paper that stick to it it freaks out it doesn't know what to do and it like it doesn't want to step on those feet so then it tries its balancing act well it's kind of like weed with people that haven't used it a lot they start using it, they're like whoa i feel funny like you know or this or that but it is so different from alcohol whereas alcohol if you get really drunk and funny be like let's go drive a car oh whoops i'm just swerving all over the place tee hee and like and that seems perfectly normal where with weed and many i've heard of a comedian real quick i know we gotta go but like heard a comedian talking about like the effects of driving while stoned and stoned is what you say when people are using cannabis or marijuana which is kind of a dumb term anyway because it's not always the case depends on if it's sativa or indica and how much you use and what the other cannabinoids are in it and there's all these differences but anyways back to that um he's like driving five miles an hour i think we hit something man oh you gotta open the door man like to the garage like and then they didn't even get out and that's about the truth like stone drivers are overly cautious like very paranoid of getting in trouble and more so it's the danger of a police officer than anything you know and the police isn't trying to scare you spook you but they're also not trying to let you drive under the influence so they're going to want to stop you and talk to you and that makes you even more paranoid just because of how scary people have made weed to sound when in reality no and even with the cop like yeah you could get a dui of driving while smoking so you don't you shouldn't be doing that but like say you were just in a car with somebody else and they caught you and like I don't know, back in the day, just like back in the day, you could get arrested for having dark skin and, or darker skin and drinking from a whites-only water fountain. Like, the law isn't always morally and ethically correct. So, same with the war on drugs. It was overplayed just so the rich can keep their riches and the poor people can fight about something stupid. All right, ta-ta for now. I will see you in the next one.